what's up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Edwina and this is Versi Color Closet where we love all things colorful first and foremost I want to wish you all a happy new year I wish you peace love joy and these days most importantly I wish you health I thank each and every one of you for being here on this journey with me on YouTube and I hope that we will continue to journey together throughout this entire year where I will be sharing with you guys plenty of faith, lifestyle, fashion, and even some travel videos. So without any further ado, let's get into today's video. Since it's the beginning of the year, I know sometimes people like to have resolutions and these resolutions sometimes include dressing better and feeling more confident. So I wanted to share five outfits that you could wear to the office so that you could walk in confidence and be ready to slay the new year. I can't think of an outfit that screams boss lady vibes better than a suit set. It may not be visible on camera, but this one is a pinstripe black and white suit and I really love it. But because we don't want to look like we're going to a funeral, I love using some colorful pieces to pair with my darkest ones. So I use this orange turtleneck sweater from Amazon to brighten up the look. I love the fact that it's super lightweight and it serves as the perfect layering piece under bulkier pieces. You can always use a belt to accentuate the smallest part of your waist, so I use this belt from H&M to belt the blazer and cinch in my waist. For women that have a more rectangular shape, this is an easy way to create the illusion of curve, giving you an hourglass type of shape. I could have finished this look with a black coat, but I decided to go with a camo one instead. And I love the fact that this one has black buttons because the black buttons pair really well with the black suit. But I also didn't want to do a black coat because that would have just been too dark. A look like this is an easy way to show you how to incorporate color without necessarily going over the top. As you can see, the orange turtleneck is really the only bright piece in this look. Everything else is different shades of neutral, and you guys know I don't necessarily love being too matchy-matchy, so although I have a black outfit, I went with different shades of neutral. The bag is more like an understated like olive, and the shoes are a caramel like brownish color, and the coat is camel. Everything just flows together and then I have gold accents with my necklace, the brooch and even the belt. For the second look, I'm rocking this lace skirt from Zara. This is super old and you guys know me. I'm not going to keep these lighter colors for just the spring so I will definitely be rocking this during the winter. Again, you can use your thermal tights underneath items like this that expose your legs. And you can also use them under your trousers, right? So I'm using another one of these turtlenecks that I really love. And I finished the look with a pair of booties from Nine West because why not? Now to add another layer to this look to make it more winter appropriate, I'm using this vest from ASOS. As you guys can see, it has three different color stripes. There's a green, a black, and a navy blue. And I think that picks up really well from the colors of the rest of the outfit. This is something that you can keep on while you're working or if it gets too hot in the office, that's the beauty of having layers, right? So you could just remove the vest and keep your outfit. You could easily finish this look with a black coat, but I decided to go with a gray one instead just to have a little bit of contrast. Once you have some darker pieces in your looks already, it doesn't hurt to go with a lighter coat. So I'm rocking this one from Zara. It's a really lightweight coat and when I'm wearing multiple layers already, then I'd rather go with a lighter weight coat so that I'm not sweating. I love the layered look of the lapels when you're wearing either a blazer or a vest underneath your coat. It's totally chic to just bring out the lapels and just layer them one on top of the other. So I'd recommend that and yeah, this is kind of a simple look I would say, but whenever you are incorporating colors, it just elevates it and I really am here for that. 
Another thing I love when I'm rocking my coats is to use a brooch. This one that I have, I believe is from Ann Taylor. And I mean, what an easy way to add some sparkle. This look is a perfect example of how you can use one item of clothing and let that determine how you style the rest of the look. As you can see, this sweater has multiple stripes. It goes from some light pink to some deep purples. So I used the fuchsia pink as inspiration for the trousers. And since the last stripe is purple, I went with purple shoes. When restyling this sweater, I could easily go with lighter colored pants or pick any shade of pink or purple to go with it. This would work for early spring as well, but knowing me, I will definitely be rocking my bright colors all year long. <laughs> If I had a cream colored coat, I think that would have gone really well with this look because I don't really like to incorporate super dark colors with such fun colors. But since I don't have a cream one, I went with this oatmeal colored coat with a neutral bag to finish the look. And I think this is just simple everyday look that will work for the office, even for brunch and Looks like this worked perfectly to transition from day to night. So if you're planning on going somewhere after work, although this is work appropriate, it could totally work for your after work events. I wanted to find a fun way to style this plain black midi dress so I used a lighter colored blazer and to add some more color to the look I went with a scarf that I ended up belting while throwing it over my shoulders I think this is something super simple that you could replicate with any of your blazers and a matching scarf if you are wearing something neutral and want to incorporate more color I could rock this look with pumps for spring and summer, but because it is cold right now in New York, I decided to go with those same tights and finish the look with a pair of black booties. Since the scarf that I added has multiple shades of pink, I decided to accessorize with lots of pink. So I went with this magenta colored purse and also my favorite pink coat from Express. If you're trying to make your looks lighter, even for the winter, I definitely recommend having some outerwear pieces that are not just black and brown. <laughs> you know, you could incorporate some pinks and some yellows. They will totally stand out and finish your looks effortlessly. If there is a color combo that I would wear year round, it's totally this one. I am loving the contrast of the light blue blazer and the navy blue shirt underneath. I also love the sleeves, they are just super fun. I also went with navy blue bag and these super beautiful green trousers from Zara. Unfortunately, it got super dark by the time I was filming this look, so that explains the poor quality, but at least I think you guys can see the colors. I ended up finishing the look with this black coat from Misguided and in true Edwina fashion, there is a brooch. I love how the gold details from the brooch, the necklace, my earrings and even the logo on the bag just all flows well together and that's one of the reasons why I love to wear gold because a lot of the things that I have, they have gold accents and they just work so well together. Because blue and green are part of the same color family, it's a no-brainer that these colors pair super well together. So if you're ever wondering what fun color to pair with blue, green is always a good option. I finished the look with a pair of black pumps that are super comfortable and they go really well with the black coat. If you are in the market for good blazers, Zara is having a sale right now, so this is a good time to definitely incorporate some good quality blazers and coats into your wardrobe. These trousers that I have are also from Zara, so definitely check out their trousers section and you'll definitely find something you love.
Thank you guys for tuning in for yet another video. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and be sure to comment down below and let me know which of these five looks was your favorite. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time on another one. Bye guys.